Hello guys, and I want to be very personal in this video and I want to start it with sharing one very strong emotion. I am very proud to be Ukrainian, but it is also very painful to be Ukrainian, especially when you live through such days as today with a huge missile attack on Ukrainian civilian, and I highlight this civilian infrastructure and targeting of Dnipro hydroelectric station dam that in case of collapse could have led to the deaths of thousands of people in just a minute. And it's all very real because we've already witnessed what Russians did to Kahovka dam. And what makes it even more painful is that the world still needs proof, arguments, persuasions to continue support Ukraine in this fight. When it's obvious that what Russia does to the world, not just to Ukraine, how it threatens the future attacks on NATO countries, very vividly reminds us of the pre-start before the Second World War, when people also believed it's possible not to escalate and decided to appease Hitler. I very clearly see that right now in Ukraine, unfortunately. Let me share more of this ordinary Ukrainian perspective on this day and what consequences this may have for the future of the war and the world. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda, fake news, and let's stop all of their war crimes together. These are crimes against humanity and we all know that. So we cannot close our eyes on that. My longtime friends, I feel your support. Check your subscription status and hit notification button. Uh, today, tonight, Russia launched another, one of the biggest missile attacks on Ukraine. 15 regions were targeted, like more than a half of the territory of Ukraine in different parts of my country, in the east, in the south, in the west, in the center. Uh, lots of destructions, but I would like to start with the fact, again, people died. People are in the center of all the values they should be. It's not the prices on petrol, as Financial Times tell us, guys. Uh, I will return back to this with a question in the end of the video, but so far we know that Russia targeted close to 150 various objects that caused destruction in Ukraine, we've managed to stop 92 of them. And yes, slowly we are running out of ammunition. It happens when the delays are really long. Uh, we managed to stop like a lot, but still Russia targeted us with 60 Shahed drones, one like 90 missiles of different types. And like an ordinary Ukrainian woman knows a lot about cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, aeroballistic missiles and other stuff I wish I would never learn about. But not only I learn about that, we experience that on a daily basis. And once again, the world often pretends it's our new normal. No, it's not our new normal. And we all know that untreated diseases expand. And that's what Russia plans. But what is worse, today they have hit Dnipro hydroelectric station dam with eight missiles. This is a dam that holds a huge amount of water. Dnipro has was hydroelectric station was once um, destroyed during uh, the uh, retreat of Soviet army in the Second World War, killing like hundreds of thousands of civilians who were not warned. This is, by the way, another tactic Russia uses traditionally, and it used that back in the times of uh, the Second World War. We saw the explosion of Kohoka Dam. It was real. Now we witness an attempt to destroy another dam, killing thousands of Ukrainian civilians and causing huge ecological troubles to the world. Uh, once again, please, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We need to speak more about these crimes to keep the world informed and mobilized and share and like the videos to help us become more vivid and known. It's important. And here we see that uh, eight missiles did not manage to uh, destroy the dam. Uh, there was a fire. What is also like awful, um, 
the dam is also used like a road and they hit the trolley bus with people going to work and it's like there are photos of this trolley bus all burnt out what was the plan we all know we all know the plan was to destroy this dam causing huge immediate tragedy to the cities around it killing lots of people killing lots of animals repeating kahovka dam tragedy but maybe multiplied but it is also a huge uh, hit on ukrainian electric infrastructure something that is used by civilians not like oil refineries in russia i'm sorry i was like very devastated with this article of financial times where they state that U.S. officials ask Ukraine not to target Russian oil refineries because this will lead to uh, higher prices on petrol, which is bad. Yeah, that's bad, but killing Ukrainians for two years like crazy, hitting us with missiles, destroying our dams is kind of very bad. And we can finish it all really quickly by providing us with everything that we need. And no, it's not that we are constantly asking for something more. It's uh, the thing that people were also actively demilitarizing Ukraine from the start of the Soviet Union because they've decided to see Russia as the leader of the region and did everything together with Russia to demilitarize Ukraine, to take away our nuclear status, to make us sell or give for free or for gas our uh, aircraft, our missiles, everything to Russia that it now uses to target Ukraine. But it's not just us who are so stupid, it's also the world leaders who inspired us to do that and now they advise us not to target oil refineries because this will lead to higher prices. So what's the solution then? What's the solution then? I'm sorry, but I was, I was really sorry to see all of these photos and to realize how dangerous it is to be Ukrainian on daily basis and, um, that you still need to persuade people, Russia is evil, we need your support. And these combined attacks with the hadrones, with uh, cruise missiles, with ballistic missiles are really difficult to stop, especially if you uh, are not like having everything that you need. And uh, also there are blackouts all around the country and that's what I wanted actually to stress. Please forgive my emotions and my like distractions from the main topic. Dnipro hydroelectric station not producing enough electricity and also blackouts in the West, in Kharkiv, in Odessa regions will cause a dramatic drop of uh, this electricity. And this is super, super dangerous for, for the Parisian nuclear power plant that is now under the control of these orcs. And the way reports actually that this uh, nuclear power station is under great danger and it needs electricity and they are provoking this lack of electricity in the system that can lead to some tragedy on the nuclear power plant. And we still have to persuade that Russia is an evil regime and it has to be stopped, not frozen, not negotiated. How can you negotiate with a gang of people responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands of innocent people and people who continuously threaten you too honestly so what do i want to say next like i was trying to put down a plan but i went too emotional today please forgive me but guys it's so painful it's honestly very painful to see what happens to your country on a daily basis and that the world wants to turn a blind eye and hope that, I don't know, by sacrificing Ukraine or something, uh, they will be able to settle it all down. Just look through history books, 1936, 1938, what the world tried to do with Hitler, appease him. It didn't work out. It will not work out with Putin. So we better wake up and the sooner the better. Thank you so much for your support, that you are friends of the channel and of Ukraine and I value your presence in my life enormously. You cannot imagine how great the motivation you give me. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons. Also, join me on Instagram, X and uh, Threads. And um, we have a beautiful merch shop and t-shirts and caps you say work well as conversation starters and reminders about Ukraine. But most importantly, united we stay and no money, 
can ever be more important than human lives. And also if we try to ignore very open, very brutal crimes, we are making a huge mistake. We know that in Ukraine, when we also try to negotiate, when we try to be a good neighbor, but you cannot be a good neighbor to hell. We have to close this door to hell and we are working on that hard. Please support us. Thank you once again and Slava Ukraini.